Hello, well, I'm Mark Ashcroft, the RF Business Development Manager at uh, PICO. Uh, this is PICO's stand at the European Microwave Exhibition London. We're using this show to introduce our new 900 uh, PICO Connect probes. These are gigabit RF and microwave probes, um, very small size, very high speed and here you can see we're using three of those probes to probe differential HDMI data pass into the screen uh, at my side. So this is a gigabit bitstream being probed live and low invasively such that we do not interfere with the function of that bitstream passing to the, uh, uh, the receiving screen. Our probing uh, high-speed transmission lines, RF and microwave or gigabit transmission lines, is uh, very difficult to achieve without invading that measurement or invading that signal flow, uh, disturbing it so much that uh, function is lost. And so what we typically have to do with microwave measurements is break into that transmission line and somehow make a terminated measurement. And that might involve completely removing a functional block, a two-port network or more port network, removing a functional block and testing it offline. But what you really want to do is get in and see a signal live, such as that HDMI stream, uh, such that you can debug quickly and efficiently, just as you would with any ordinary oscilloscope probe, uh, the function uh, of this system, or malfunction of this system. So here we have the live uh, HDMI data. Uh, that's running at 1.4 gigabits per second on each of uh, four lines. This is a real-world eye diagram, not that that you'd normally see off a high-purity signal generator, but one off a typical laptop and a really rather low-cost HDMI switch. Real-world real signals, uh, but you can see there's an eye there that is uh, successfully supporting this screen. So what's so important about these new probes? Well, first of all, they're small, they're very lightweight, provided with flexible cables such that we can probe by browsing with our hands or by soldering in to very fine line geometries such as we have to deal with today with gigabit data streams or uh, high-speed microwave signals. They're low cost. If we were to be doing this, these are 9 gigahertz probes that we're using here. Well, quite typically, a 9 gigahertz probe sells at $1,000 plus $1,000 per gigahertz. That's roughly what you see in the marketplace for active probe solutions. Well, these are passive probes selling at very much lower cost. In fact, we're, uh, we're seeing a cost here of about $150 plus $150 per gigahertz. These are very low invasive because they have very low tip capacitance, down to 300 femtofarads, in fact, um, whereas perhaps act active probes at a similar performance level half a picofarad, maybe through to uh, 0.9 of a picofarad. So very much lower capacitance, uh, such that we can probe this waveform without disturbing its pulse response significantly and without disturbing, or without disturbing its, uh, its gain phase flatness uh, characteristic. Unusually, amongst passive, pro uh, passive probe solutions. We have a range of division ratios here. Uh, here I show a kit of probes, divide by five, divide by 10, divide by 20. On the left hand side we have AC coupled probes, on the right hand side divide by five, divide by 10, divide by 20, uh, DC coupled probes. These are provided in a uh, as a kit or individually with uh, appropriate high performance cables or with uh, adapters where necessary and solder in facilities. Uh, here I've got gold plated wire that you can use to solder the probes in. Um, the probes incidentally have 
a removable set of pins there, a pair of pliers, we can pull those out and uh, replace them with direct connections for soldering if we wish to. There are two families here. At the back here, the, 90, uh, the 9, 910 series of probes, six probes, three division ratios, two couplings. These probes are aimed at the uh, at analog and RF and uh, pulse applications, starting at about four gigahertz through to five gigahertz bandwidth. Uh, these probes have the higher uh, impedance, uh, load impedance. We're talking 200 ohms through to 1,000 ohms on this range. Um, they have the higher voltage capability, uh, up to 14 volts RMS, and these have a high peak voltage capability, up to 150 volt peak, as long as the RMS condition, 14 volts RMS, is not, uh, is not violated. This uh, set of probes, I've, in fact I'm only showing uh, two here because I'm using the others for the probing behind us. Um, these belong to the gigabit uh, digital range of the family, the 9 920 series. These are more suited to uh, lower voltage, they are higher speed. You can see here I've got an AC coupled 9 gigahertz probe. Uh, this one, uh, that's a DC coupled uh, 9 gigahertz probe. So these probes are useful for looking at data streams up to 18 gigabits per second. So we're covering quite a lot of the uh, very well established now protocols such as uh, SATA, PCIe, uh, USB 3, HDMI, um, no end of streams running uh, up to around about 18 gigabits per second uh, and we have the bandwidth in these probes to, uh, to see that data. So I think a revolutionary new set of probes here. Um, they're, um, as I said, cost-effective solution, whereas previously you might not have been able to afford to use three active probes to probe a signal as you wish to or a multiple data stream as you wish to. Here, at this rather lower cost, uh, hopefully you can, and hopefully Pico brings you another RF and microwave solution for your measurements.